to page, things aren't as they seem. Have you ever noticed anything strange happening here? Why? Is there a problem? Normally when you finish a book, you're happy. As Adrian's last novel isn't as it seems. It was on his nightstand addressed to both of you. I wanted to make sure you and Clara got this before the publishing people do. A secret book. Wonderland, Utopia, Melancholy, and Terror. Do not take too much. It gives you nice dreams. Good dreams. Very, very special dreams. Oh, you are a loser. Oh, Adrian. I'd kind of like for you to be her friend. Girls are for pansies. Dreams of a past love. Is that you, Shannon? Girls are for pansies. And the girl he's really into never makes an appearance in any of his books for some reason. It was never really about the money. I just <laughs> never really liked your books. Adrian, me, George. You ever had a woman like this right here? I don't know your woman. <laughs> Stop writing books. Are you trying to fall? Oh, poor Adrian couldn't hold on to Shannon. <laughs> Adrian, you've got to look up. Goodbye, Adrian. <sighs> but I have got to tell you that I have tasted my own death. Don't take any more. His darkest fears or happiest memories. You and I are going to have a conversation about you secretly quitting your chemo and your radiation. You have to go there. You do realize you talk in your sleep, right? Fiction and reality collide. I can't see you, Uncle Adrian. But I can feel you're here. Looks like Adrian has one more story to tell. Barely dreaming. <laughs>